Good morning. My tomato has entirely collapsed with the weight of the fruit, I think. I mean, a whole lot are just keeling over that way. I think they're just self-supporting at this point, but I mean, that's with no feed, no pruning, no care whatsoever. It makes you wonder, doesn't it? Anyway, I've got this chair because I, I want to get these up off the ground. I just haven't got a stake big enough or strong enough. And I'm just uh, trying to keep them hanging on now long enough so that they'll ripen before anything terrible happens to them. Have to do, I think. Pretty good. Don't know where I'm going to sit if the sun comes out, mate. Right, I'm going to head up the allotment now. If you'd like to come with me, we'll see what's going on there. Just thought I'd show you this little beauty. They don't last long, the sunflowers, but my goodness, when they come out, they're so gorgeous. I love them. We've got a huge one at the front. I think it must be about 13, maybe 15 foot high. These are my pink fir apple potatoes. Um, they're the last ones to come out. Well, at least the last ones that aren't volunteers. I've got lots of volunteers to come out as well. So they're pretty much had it now. The foliage is dying back. It's getting yellow. And I'm just gonna take them out and we'll see what we've got.
there it is the final haul delighted again i've done so well for potatoes this year makes up for last year um because we didn't do well at all last year but um as i say i wasn't expecting you know a huge crop from the pink fur apples in the past i've gotten some but not a massive amount but again each plant i was pulling up had masses on um i think it's got to be that new border where all the potatoes were it was uh, i can't even remember what we put in it this time but probably lots of uh, chicken manure and compost and stuff so yeah it's made a difference So we're just going to head over into the secret garden this morning. Haven't been over for a while. We've had a good bit of rain, so we haven't needed to water. So I'm going to show you what's going on over there. I don't even know myself, to be honest. If you don't know, this is a strip of land um, out the back of our allotment. It's just a strip of public land that nobody can get access to because there's huge overgrown weeds at either end. And it's just a strip that um, borders a farmer's field beyond the hedgerow. So we've been out there and we've been planting it this year. I've put in mainly squash, but a few other things as well. So we'll head over and see how we're getting along. I hate this bit. I don't mind going up the ladder and I don't mind going down the ladder. It's that bit, getting over the top, it's terrifying. There's been this gigantic thistle, um, which is just in kind of prime position, uh, which uh, we haven't cut down till now. It's been a good pollinator um, and also the birds have been coming and getting the seeds out um, once the flowers were finished. So we have just left it, but it's spiky and it's right in the way, so it's coming down today. A good job for Kenny. <laughs> Blackberries down here, I see. Sorry? Some nice blackberries. Ooh, get them then. Yeah. So it's getting quite overgrown down at this bottom end by now. I'm just willing the squash to uh, get big enough to smother the uh, the weeds around them. They're coming on, there's not an awful lot happening. Alan. So I've got the camera there at the far end. I'm going to walk to the other end to give you an idea of how much space we're using here. planted a few hollyhocks in here as well and they've actually surprisingly done okay for their first year. There are a lot of flowers on all the squash plants. Uh, so fingers crossed, I don't know whether it's too late now or not, but we'll find out in due course. Another one. And then another one. That's about the best size squash I've got. That is actually a little teeny baby butternut squash, which um, I had two of those planted in. I wasn't expecting them to do anything. Let's see, maybe I'll get one. That would be lovely. Oops. These are the first things that were put in. It's three New, Ze New Zealand yam plants. They've been doing fine. They've just, uh, they're just doing what they're meant to do. As I say, the weeds are starting to come up a bit now and I think since we've had the rain, I think the weeds are, might start to become a bit of an issue and I'm not exactly sure how to tackle it because Kenny would usually come in here with his strimmer and just trim the lot, but of course, now that we've got things grown, that's not going to be quite so easy. Anyway, it's all just an experiment, so we'll see how we'll get on. And uh, this is actually my first cropping plant, properly cropping. I took a cucumber off that plant the other day. I thought I'd taken it off too soon. It was a bit green inside, but it tasted lovely. Uh, and I think that's probably about ready to come off. I might leave it for another day or two. So two, just two little um, 
cucumbers and there's another tiny little fruit coming there i'm not sure i'm going to get much more off them there doesn't really seem to be any more flowers coming but i maybe will we'll see well overall i'm pretty happy with how this little patch is working out it's just the first year i think if we can keep up doing this and just trying to tame it back a little bit eventually it'll be quite a useful addition uh, um, the growing space that we've got the thistle's gone thank goodness for that no more spiking myself up the bum every time i walk past it um we'll just see I, I don't actually anticipate that i'm going to get an awful lot of food out of this bit this year i might get two or three uh, or four maybe squash i've got a couple of cucumbers coming i think the new zealand yams will be all right um but really it was just a first try to see how well it would do and if it was feasible to do it apart from going over the ladder it's fine anyway hope you've enjoyed this week's video and i'll catch you next time bye oh heavens